600 feet, turn left onto Southeast Division Street. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Friday, December 2nd. It's been quite a week. Turn left onto Southeast Division Street. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, this week I've done a lot of old accounts. Like in the beginning I worked on Mike's Drive-In, which is my oldest account, about 30 years. And then I did Fran's Bakery, which is, I've been doing them for, I can't even recall, maybe 15 years, maybe longer, I'm not sure. And then I was at Anderson Brothers Truck Parts. I've been working for them for, I'm thinking, 10 years. And then um, yesterday I was at uh, Beaverton Auto Body. That one came out really good. And I've been working for them for about six years. But today I'm going to a brand new account I've never done before. It's an RV dealership in Gresham, Oregon. And, uh, Sounds really promising. On Southeast Division Street for four miles. Sounds really promising. And it's what I do sometimes during the holidays or even during the year is uh, I welcome new accounts. Um, not always during the holidays, but as the years go by, I do, um, I actually do less and less window splashes. I just do more quality ones, uh, better paying jobs. And uh, I'm kind of go that way. And uh, so this is the case with this job. People are really friendly. They're really open. They're like, hey, we just want a holiday thing. You know, they weren't really specific. So this is going to be a fun job for sure. Anyway, I will talk to you in a few minutes. Turn right onto Northwest Birdsdale Avenue. Turn left onto West Powell Boulevard. Turn left onto West Powell Boulevard. Continue on West Powell Boulevard for two miles. We're now headed through downtown Gresham, and uh, it's a nice little town. I've Done a lot of work out here off and on over the years. And uh, I used to do a place called Murray Mazda Chevrolet. And it was out here. And I remember at the time, there were big windows. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, these windows are so big. <laughs> but times have changed. It's like every time I do a splash, the bigger ones, they just seem smaller and easier the more I do. I got a 10 foot ladder so I can usually, you know, climb up on anything. There's a Sherwin Williams right here if I need some paint. <laughs> that comes in handy. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Southeast 6th Street. Your destination will be on the right. Oh, I just passed it. <laughs> it's so funny. It's a place I used to do. Is on the right. I'm spinning around here. <laughs> That's so funny. I uh, I used to paint these guys. And this is Murray Mazda Chevrolet across the street. Now it's Gresham Subaru. But this used to be a Seaport Auto Wholesale. I have a, a, a video of me painting this on my birthday. I'll see if I can insert some stuff here on the video of that. But um, that's so funny. So I have actually painted this place before. <laughs> I went ahead and laid down some of my tarps, but <clears throat> I think I want to get some new tarps. I've been wanting to get some, so I'm going to head back over to this uh, Sherwin-Williams and uh, see what they got. Or there's a Miller paint, too, there. Maybe I'll stop there, because I think they have a pretty good price on tarps. Sometimes I buy them, and then I cut them in half. 
It's economical. Hi there. Good. Do you guys sell uh, tarps? Like paint tarps? Start out four by fifteens, nine by twelves, and twelve by fifteens. Oh, okay. And then I have a little five by five. Oh, okay. Must drop down there too. So it's you know. These are good. This is a good. Oh yeah. Good size. Four by fifteens. Okay. I think that's probably fifteen feet. That's probably. Maybe I'll get. Maybe I'll get three. They're fifteen each. Is that what? Yeah, about, okay. All right, cool. I've got some spots that are beating up, so I had to do a few coats. Like when I was doing Pets on Broadway, and I did the splashy color, I did it all in one coat. But here I'm having to do two coats, and three coats in some cases. But I'm having some big problems with the door. It's just beating up. This is three coats here, and now I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try my polyacrylic and just spray over that, let it dry really good, and uh, see if that'll seal it in some way so I can do a final coat. And if that works, next time this happens, I'll just do the spray first before I even do the first coat. But I'm going to try this out. I'm going to spray this and let it dry. On this side, I'm doing my old school snow. I'm not going to block it in completely, so they, they weren't worried about that. But here you can see again on the door, it's starting to beat up. So I think I will kind of make a thing here so it kind of connects to the side but anyway this is what I got so far I got the snowy blend it's back up here because it's pretty big and you can see the door it just didn't cover so I can't even see the whole thing even this far back and then uh, over here on the other side it's basically the same thing let me jump over this But over here, we've got the same thing going on, too. And it's kind of weird, like down on this end, it's also beating up a little bit. And then a little bit here, along there. But I'll get it taken care of. Once this is done, I'm going to put the characters right over it. But they wanted to block this off. They did ask me if I could make it so you could see it on the inside, too. But I told them it would be too hard to, to wash it and it would be really messy and stuff. Plus, it would be pretty expensive. I'd have to really slow down. Anyway, that's what I got so far. Okay, I'll show you the picture of their mascot. This little doggy here. <laughs> so I'm going to do a caricature of her. And uh, she's got fluffy hair and hair coming out here. And so, and she's blue. So I'm going to put her on the window pretty big. That'll be fun. Up top here it's going to say have a and then in this little banner here wonderful and then down here the word winter and I'll do a dark blue on the inside but what I'm doing for that one uh, the banner that says wonderful is I'm doing a, a blend with purple and a pink or and adding white to it. Okay, one of the managers came out and he he asked if I could paint down here um, cover all these up too and you know I don't like working low but <laughs> 
I can see his point. So we're going to do a till along the bottom there. And uh, just want people to see in the boxes and stuff. And uh, so I was going to, even with the beading up and the extra coats of paint, I was going to keep it at 500. But I did explain to him with the beading and now also having to paint this extra along the bottom. Because I'm going to have to clean that too. <laughs> so I'm going to bump it up to 600. And uh, so he's still, he's getting a pretty good deal. And, uh, and then down here, this is where I sprayed the clear over. And I'm going to go ahead and try, uh, try and see if I can put this, uh, this teal over it in one coat. Let's see if that did anything. Uh, painting that polycrylic clear water-based spray. Okay, let's check it out. Let's see what it'll do. Looks like it's kind of beading up a little. Let's let it sit for a second. I think it's helping, but it still is beating up a little. But there's got to be a spray or something. You know, I could just use a oil-based spray too, I bet. I'm just doing a little extra over on this side too. It's not too bad. It's kind of beating up at the bottom, but it did help a little. Definitely did help a little. But I'm thinking if I sprayed it with an oil-based spray, but then that would be really hard to get off. So maybe two, maybe two coats of the polycrylic might help with something like that. Because that's, that's not too bad. Anyway, here's my characters. <laughs> this is Gigi. She, and they have a little heart that says Gigi. And then here at the top, it'll say, have a wonderful winter from all of us at Blue Dog RV. And then this is Heather, the manager there with the black hair, and she's got green eyes, bright green eyes. And I'll probably paint her with purple. And then add a little snowman here too. So it's coming along good. The side characters, I'll do a lot of trees and stuff. So, you know, I try to make it all fit within the budget time-wise, because I basically have a day Okay, now I've gone all the way along the bottom. Some spots beat up, like that one. I'm just gonna leave them. This beat it up a lot, so I may do a second coat here. And so all these down here as well. So it's a lot of extra work. That's why I added a hundred bucks. But this window is more like a seven or eight hundred dollar job but it's the first time I can adjust <laughs> all right I'm going to go to lunch soon but before I do I'm gonna paint a bunch of trees <laughs> I want to get those up and get them drying so I'm making me up some green I gotta grab a four inch roller maybe I'll get a new one <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna make me some green that I can use for trees. This should be plenty. Okay. And when I use the roller to do trees, I have to kind of trim them. Well, that's not beating up. That's nice. 
I wish all the windows were like that. Okay, I'm back from lunch and I finished up the trees. I did the shadows and the highlights. And uh, it's looking pretty good. I got all the way around the side, the front, and the other side. And uh, I just gotta put like shadows on the snow. I'm gonna put in like some teal colors and suggest some paths and things like that. Anyway, I'm gonna start working on the uh, characters now, start laying in the colors. Okay, I, uh, I have a little quiz for everybody out there. And uh, whoever wins this quiz, the first person that leaves a comment that gets the right answer to this, this uh, puzzle, this question, I will send you a Utrecht brush, a little quarter inch Utrecht brush. I think it's quarter inch or half inch, no quarter inch. Quarter inch Utrecht outlining brush because I bought a bunch of them, so. Anyway, in the comments section, leave your answer. And the question is, what does this Blue Dog RV, Camper's Best Friend, Window Splash, have to do with ketchup? <laughs> the first one that answers will win a prize. I'll send you some other stuff too. I'll send you the brush and maybe some foam brushes and who knows, um, maybe, maybe a couple sketches too. I'll send you a prize box. So what does this have to do with ketchup? <laughs> All right. You know what I love? I love doing cute stuff. <laughs> I just have to admit it. It's just so cool. I like doing other stuff too, but I love doing cute stuff. But you know what else I love? I love, I love when it starts getting dark and then these lights come on automatically. So it's like, over on this side, there's not too much light, but right here with Gigi, the little dog, the blue dog, there's a spotlight right on it. So it's like it's daytime. And it's getting dark out now. I don't even know what time it is. I lose track of time when I'm really into my stuff. But I'm so I'm so excited because uh, this place has lights, and it's really it's getting warm out. There's no breeze. I'm almost finished. It's just really coming together. I've done some really cool stuff this week. I've had a really, really good week. Yeah, it makes, 
makes it nice when they got lights. It's a little bit dark right here, but over there where I'm going to be working, it's all lit up. All right. <laughs> Well, I'm all finished. We love our customers. It's cool though, they got these lights so you can see it at night. Boy, what a mess. <laughs> Look at that, I gotta put all that away. That takes me about 25 minutes to put away. So, let me back up here a little. So they've got up here, have a wonderful winter. From Blue Dog RV. It's a lot of painting, a lot of snow, a lot of ice, but I got it done. I'm not sure what time it is. I think it's probably six ish, six, six thirty maybe. Could be later. And there's my tree again. So I got all this, all that. And uh now I'm going to head inside and leave them an, leave them an invoice. So the what is the owner's name? John and Rebecca. Oh, and that's her that's their that's dog. That's Gigi, yep. <laughs> They're Chinese crested. That's hilarious. <laughs> It'd be fun to have an animated commercial like Come on down to Blue Dog uh -huh. RV. <laughs> they'll, they'll be here on the tenth, so they they're from Idaho. So oh be wow! On the tenth, they are gonna go nuts. So this is the uh, you have a party. It's like a company party mm -hmm. here. That's and so awesome. They usually have it in the shop, but we Kevin's like, well, I'll get someone to paint the windows, and we can have it here after hours, and no one really sees in. Yeah. Plus, it's good instead of spending money to cover the windows, we can use it like that. This is awesome. Yeah, and it'll be good till probably through February, you know. So awesome. I love it. <laughs> love it. I'm so glad you like it. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna, um, here I can, or I could probably just give it to you. Okay. I've got paint all over it, but. That's okay. Today's the third, right? Um, second. Oh, okay. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I just, I love doing them. And I love when the customer likes it so much. That just, it's like the icing for me on the cake. Snowman is hilarious. He's so cute. <laughs> He's just walking along. Yeah. Now I gotta put my stuff away. It takes me about 20 minutes. Oh, <laughs> it's I such bet. a mess. I bet. Okay, I'll give this to Kevin. Does he just mail this then? Yeah, I, that'd be fine. Just. Or you, However, want to, you want to pick it back up or just you want him to mail it? Whatever works um, for you. You could probably just mail it. Okay. Okay, I'll have him mail it. Thank Thanks you. so much. Thank you. All right. Now I don't even have to go in. I just gave her the bill. And uh, just got to put my paint away. Okay. Thanks for hanging out with me this week. This week's been wild, right? A lot of stuff going on. Did Mike's Drive-In, did Franz, did Anderson Brothers, did Beaverton, uh, Beaverton Auto Body, and now I'm finishing it up at Blue Dog RV. It's been a busy week. It's how it is during the holidays. And uh, I love this new account. This is gonna be great. And they're gonna do some spring stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling, it's late. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye, thanks for hanging out.